Hi there, this is Ravi and I will be briefing on Salesforce Lookup Transformation. The agenda of the presentation will include an overview of Salesforce Lookup Transformation with a mention on involved lookup ports and queries. It will also include a demonstration of an implementation using Salesforce Lookup Transformation. Salesforce lookup transformation can be used to look up data in Salesforce object. For example, if the source data includes an employee ID, but you want to include the employee name as well in the target during the data load, you can use the Salesforce lookup transformation. The Salesforce lookup transformation is an active transformation. You can create a Salesforce lookup transformation using any standard or custom Salesforce object available for that particular Salesforce user account. You can also include fields from related Salesforce objects in the lookup transformation. It differs from the normal lookup transformation. For example, the Salesforce lookup transformation returns all matching rows whereas the lookup transformation the normal one under default settings would fetch only one such matching record even if the number of matching records is more than one when you import a Salesforce object to create a lookup transformation the designer creates ports to use in the lookup query. The Power Center Integration Service generates the lookup query based on the connected input and output ports. You can also add ports to the lookup transformation as pass through ports. Essentially, the port values are unchanged through the transformation and does not involve a lookup on the Salesforce object or the data. The lookup transformation of Salesforce would also include what are called as default ports which are mentioned LKP underscore filter and LKP underscore match index. Use lookup filter port to add any custom filter conditions in the lookup query that you might not be able to generate by connecting to the lookup input ports. Lookup match index port would be used to identify the matched rows when the lookup query returns multiple matches. So for each such match draw, Power Center would create a unique sequence ID. If there are no matched values, a single row is returned with lookup match index as zero. We will look at a demonstration on how this could be configured in Power Center. Create a transformation and select Salesforce lookup transformation to get to a user interface where you need to give in the user credentials to connect to Salesforce server. Once done, you can select a Salesforce object. For example, account has been selected for this demonstration purpose. Now, once we are in this window, you can include related Salesforce object like a parent or owner and so on to include the related objects. For the demonstration purpose we would be using only the account without any related objects. Creating OK would generate the lookup transformation of Salesforce. Now here we see that a lookup filter and a lookup match index are default generated fields. 
the following fields are from the Salesforce objects like ID is deleted and so on. Now we can edit the transformation, go to the ports tab and add an extra field so that this becomes a pass through port. You do not name it necessarily as a pass through, I'm just this is an example name, but any such created field would be considered as a pass through and the lookup SOQL query generated would not include this uh, particular in field included. Including this in a mapping would result in a mapping as, as shown. Essentially we are passing a name to the Salesforce lookup based on which we would fetch records from the account and we are also passing a value to the pass through port as an implementation to see if it comes out as expected and a filter condition which is a custom filter condition which will also be included in the where clause of the generated SOQL query. Let's run the associated workflow to see how the data gets retrieved. We see that the session succeeds and let's have a look at the session log. We see that the generated query uh, due to the lookup transformation of Salesforce is select ID comma name. So the select statement here includes ID and, and name. So that's what we see in the output ports that we are only selecting ID and name from the Salesforce object the pass through port is just passed on it's not queried onto the salesforce object now the query is is from the table account which is not not changed but the where clause includes name and the billing city so there are two conditions in the where clause one is on the name and one is on the billing city the name class comes as we have connected the name field of the Salesforce lookup transformation. However, the billing city is not generated. It is as it is taken from whatever is passed on to the lookup filter port of the Salesforce lookup transformation. Now in this particular case, we have only one matching record so the lookup match index would be generated accordingly only once in case there were no matches found this index would be set to zero and and uh, all the attributes that gets passed on from salesforce lookup transformation would be null We have seen and heard on how a Salesforce lookup transformation can be created and configured. These are a few notes related to what we have just seen. A separate SQL query is generated for each row that reaches a Salesforce lookup transformation. So if you are processing 10 records, there will be 10 SQL queries generated and fired to the Salesforce server. The lookup ports must match the Salesforce field name. So editing the lookup 
reports of sales force lookup transformation should be done judiciously. The select statement of the generated SOQL query would be based on the connected output ports, while the where clause is generated both on the input ports and the lookup filter port. This ends our discussion on how to create and configure Salesforce lookup transformation. We would love to hear from you. Please feel free on giving us your feedback on, the, on our support videos at the mentioned channels. Thank you.